all candy rice join in singing the entrance hymn enter his gates enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart enter his courts with praise enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart for he has made me glad he has made me glad he has made me glad jesus has made me glad enter his courts with thanksgiving in your heart for he has made me glad mass intentions today's mass is a thanksgiving mass offered by paulina kurup Danny on his birthday Jacqueline and Peter de Souza on their wedding anniversary for the intentions of Heston Saldana on his 50th birthday Maya Shah Cynthia Rodriguez for good health for the souls of Xavier Hodges Aaron Colasso Anthony and Anarita Lobo Rosie and Reynold Coelho, Joe Dias, Maria Kansasau Fernandez, Valsa Jacob, Lawrence and Vivek Fernandez, Moses Arnolfo Fernandez, Ignatius and Selena Fernandez, Mina Rodriguez, Norbert Lobo. Lino Pimenta, Dorothy Gandhi, Flory and Henry Brambleby, Joseph and Vincent Fernandez, Valsa Jacob, offered by the OLPS Intercessory Group. Let us keep all these intentions in our heart and mind as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Philip and James, apostles and martyrs. Let us thank God for them as we sign ourselves in the name of the Blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us recall to mind our sins and failings and ask the Lord for mercy and pardon for all our sins. You were sent to call the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. All kindly join in singing the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. I would remind you brothers of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the reading. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their, Their sound, sound goes forth through all the earth. earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message. And night unto night imparts the knowledge. Their, Their sound, sound goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their message to the utmost bounds of the world. Their, Their sound goes forth through all, all the earth. earth. Can you stand for the gospel acclamation? Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O oh Lord, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Philip, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me you would have also known my father also henceforth you know him and have seen him philip said to him lord show us the father and we shall be satisfied jesus said to him have i been with you so long and yet you do not know me philip he who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Truly, truly I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, today we celebrate the feast day of Saint Philip and James. St. Philip was a native of Bethsaida on the shore of the Lake Genasrith in Galilee. He came from the same town as Peter and Andrew. Jesus called him directly, whereupon he sought Nathaniel and told him about Jesus. The yearning upon to know more about the afterlife is a very strong instinct that all of us perhaps may have. When Jesus described himself as God's son, the apostle Philip pressed him to tell him more. Basically, Philip was saying to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. And if we see the Father, we will be satisfied. In response to Philip, Jesus says, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. If we want to know who God is, we need to look no further than Jesus. All the words that Jesus has spoken, all the works that he has done come from God and show us who God is. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, living in this world, it is not possible for us to see God as he is. But we can see God in the face and in the form of Jesus Christ, our Lord. If we consecrate our gaze on Jesus, who lived among us in the days 
of his apostles Philip and James and who lives among in the church today then we can see God it was this conviction that made Philip and James into faithful apostles of the Lord Philip preached and his words are recorded in the Acts of the Apostles it is said Philip preached the gospel in Asia Minor he probably suffered martyrdom by crucifixion in Heropolis in Phrygia the other apostle whose feast we celebrate today is James the less who was a brother of Saint Jude Thaddeus and is generally thought of to be a cousin of our Lord Jesus Christ his mother Mary of Clopas was a sister of our Blessed Virgin Mary our mother he was a very lovable devout and ascetic person and he was known to become the first Bishop of Jerusalem and was noted for his charity he was a patron of druggist fullers and hatters James was known as the leader of the church in Jerusalem bringing many of his fellow Jews into the faith James was martyred in the holy city in 62 AD my dear brothers and sisters both the apostles Philip and James lived in the company of Jesus they heard Jesus they saw Jesus and they saw him live and die and were witnesses to his resurrection to the apostles Philip and James we come to know God even in this life in Jesus the Son of God let us thank God today for these two apostles and pray that we may be ready like them to live and die for our faith Amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the Apostle Philip and James 
and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the Apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be, may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Philip and James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not Lord worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, Together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for Ukraine. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for our precious children at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, Prince of Peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. All kindly join in singing the final hymn. God's Spirit is in my heart, 
He has called me and set me apart This is what I have to do What I have to do He sent me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the downtrodden free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go tell everyone The news that God's kingdom has come